So commonly people request how to do an index match, and that can be really helpful, but unfortunately it only really covers one criteria. So if you're just looking up one item and you're maybe just looking up a person's name, it can be very useful. But we run into the situation where we actually need to use multiple criteria on a lookup. So today I want to explain how to do that in Smartsheet. So on this sheet here, you can see I have some names and I also have roles here, and then I have their rates. So let's imagine a scenario where we want to get Eric, but we also want to get his specific role. So you can imagine it's going to actually be two criteria to look it up. And what we'd like to do is let's say, let's get his tester rate, so that'd be 100. So how are we going to get um, the 100 instead of 150? If we were to use an index match, it would give you the first person, the first time that the name comes up because match only works with one column um, per rows or columns that is. But what we wanna use is Eric's name and then his role. So I'm gonna type that in first up here. So type in Eric. And then let's use tester. So that's the two criteria that I want to look up. And over here, I'm going to write the formula. So I'm going to start out with equals, as that's always the way to start a formula. And then I'm going to type in index. Now, index um, isn't doing much in this. Really, its job is to just grab the top item. And so now we're going to do a collect. Collect's job is to get a specific item for you in a column um, based on multiple criteria. So first, column that we're going to want to actually select is the right. So I'm just going to go from here to here. You could do this with a cross sheet reference as well, but in this example, I want to just show how you can build the formula. So I'm going to put a comma, and that's going to actually get me my amount back. So I want to get the $100 out of that first column that I select. Now I need to start getting specific um, ranges for criteria. So Let's use tester next. Let's use this role. So I'm going to click here. And that basically is looking across the range for the role. I'm going to click on this cell right here to reference it. So by putting that in, I'm able to um, automatically get the tester um, row down there on row six. So now I want to look up the name as well. So I'm going to minimize this so I can click on it. And I'm going to click across this name range here. And then you can see here, this is a challenge we commonly run into, I can't really see the name at row. I want to be able to click on Eric's name up there. I actually would click down here, and then instead of using that number 11, I'll just type in at row, and that's going to automatically get me the cell that's kind of beneath this formula I've written. Now, I collected the right information, but index is not done yet. Index needs to at least select the top thing. So I'm going to just put a 1 here. After a comma, I'm going to close it up, and that's going to give me that amount. So you can see it already provided me the information. So let's say maybe I want to get Eric as an engineer instead. So I'm going to select the text, and then I'm going to put it in right here in the role. And you can immediately see it updated to 150. So I could switch out the name, I could switch out the role, and it would pull whichever one this is. Now, uh, I just showed two criteria there, but you could actually add four or five. Um, as many as you need for index collect. I will say though that once you use collect, you're not able to go across columns as well. You're gonna be doing it just by one column, where before I've shown how index match match can go both down and across. Um, so thank you very much, and please reach out if you have any questions on this.